Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing really well. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning how we can randomly map each wooden panel that we have over here. It doesn't need to be wood, it could be stone or anything of that sort. And we are going to be looking for a result, something along the lines of this. And this kind of architecture that Marcio Kogan creates, he's got a lot of individual uh, wood panels and in a lot of 3D work you usually see uh, images that have repetitive uh, UVW mapping on it. So today I'm going to show you how to get this effect uh, without using any scripts just straight out of Max using the unwrap modifier. Okay so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are inside of 3ds Max, and the first thing that we're going to do is we can actually see what the average little 3D guy in the world would do and how he would get his uh, mapping on top of this uh, model. So we're just going to go to our material editor, going to go and create a new material. <clears throat> Uh, create corona physical material this works for v-ray so v-ray users don't worry <laughs> and we're going to choose our wood material so if, for instance i have this oak material over here i'm going to click open and i'm going to apply it to this model so in the right hand viewport you can see that it's been applied and what most people would do is they would just add a UVW map on top of that and they would do a box mapping type and let's just say three meters by three meters which is okay and if your image was orientated from the front view this would actually work okay it's not too bad but the problem is that when you have a point of view from side, for example, you start to see all of this repetition because of the type of mapping that is being projected onto this. So it's being projected from the left hand side and it's projecting exactly the same map on each one of these panels. So you can see that it has this kind of uh, repetitive pattern. And you can see it over here as well on the right hand viewport. And we are going to learn how to fix that nice and quickly. So afterwards you can add glossiness and reflection to your material, but this is just a tutorial to show you how to get the random panels working. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a copy of this so we can compare it at the end. And we're going to copy it to here. Just click copy and I'm going to isolate it because I'm actually going to just change this to, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to remove the UVW mapping from it. And I am going to just change this to an editable poly. I'm going to attach all of them. If you don't um, want to do that, you can just make a copy and leave a copy of your a spline based model on the side and so we'll just add that We've got our editable poly and we are going to attach by list click uh, select all and click attach now we have them all attached and what we're going to do now is we are going to apply that it's already applied so we just apply the material to that and what we're going to do is we're going to add a unwrap modifier on top of that so we're going to go to unwrap uh, uvw gonna click ok and we're going to come here and we're going to go to open uv editor now we can zoom out we can go to mapping from here we can click flatten mapping and click ok and this is going to essentially cut up our panels and it's going to map each panel individually so what you can do now is you can actually take your oak material by coming down to this um, part over here and going to natural oak so over here you're going to see the 
the result that you're going to get on each panel. However, as you can see, the grain of the wood is going from uh, top to bottom in a vertical way. So you need to select these, for example, and flip them uh, so that they are vertical as well. All of your um, panels that are horizontal, you need to change to a vertical uh, orientation. So they don't actually have to be inside of this box. You can just put them on the side. It's still going to work correctly. So I'm just going to go to select, uh, actually ignore that. And we are going to just select it like that. And yeah, so it's working. Select this one, this one, this one. The tops, you don't really need to uh, change anything because we're not going to see them. And we are going to move these over here. So if you see on the uh, viewport over here, some of these are orientated upwards and some of them are orientated horizontally. So what you can do is you can click right click and we're going to go to rotate. And we're going to start turning. So you can see already in the right hand uh, viewport over there, it is... You should actually add your snaps onto this, but it's okay. Okay, now we can move that. Okay, and now you can see that they are all orientated correctly. So if we actually zoom out of this, we can start to see that all the panels are individually mapped. And if you would like to change the scale of the mapping, you can just select your, uh, your panels right click scale and this is going to change the scale of the uh, mapping of your panels so if we continue to do that yeah and that's looking pretty good and then after that you can just uh, add your reflections your glossiness to make the wood look more realistic but what we can do now after that is we can actually just compare the two, we can close this, go out of isolation mode and see what the difference is between the two. So you can see all this repetition that you have in this uh, first version and the second version is looking a lot more random, which is what we are after. <clears throat> and this will work for curved walls, it will work for floors, um, so it works essentially for anything that needs random mapping on each different side. You can also, in a more advanced uh, tutorial or that I might do later, you can actually decide where you want to cut objects open and how you want to map them. But that's more uh, of something that you'd learn once you uh, skinning a character or something of that sort. Okay, so I hope that helped you guys. If it did help you, please uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a great evening. Ciao, bye.